hello everyone so today we are going to work at uh, grass into this landscape uh, auto material so here is the grass output you can see the grass meshes on the ground and it the grass does not appear on soil layer or the rock surfaces it only appears on this green grassy area like this and also it does not appear in this beach sand layer as well so this is this automatically calculated and applied on the ground so let's see how to implement this today okay so as the next step i want to add grass into this landscape so for that i have already imported some grass meshes these so these are the grass meshes that I'm gonna use so right so in order to have grass on the landscape let me open the landscape material and here we need to add a grass output landscape grass output so here we need to set a grass type and um, where should I create it here on the landscape itself let me create where is it? Here under foliage we have landscape grass type. I'll name it GT grass. And here I'll add an element. And as the mesh, let's add the grass mesh. This one. So this grass mesh is something I took from Megascans. I have used the same thing in the survival series as well. So two hundred should be you know start car distance. I'll put eight thousand to ten thousand. Okay. Um, right now we can queue this GT grass here and where to spawn this grass we need to tell that in the material otherwise we don't see it so um so if i preview this no here we have the beach level let me preview this so yeah basically this represents the area where the beach is so if i directly connect it like this we should get grass on everywhere else other than the beach see but the problem is we get grass on this soil as well that's a problem we don't need that soil and rock surfaces also so we don't need grass there so um, we need to subtract the region the rocky region from here so how let me preview this so this is the region where we get the grass so if I multiply this
and this together so non beach area and the grass layer together I should get the region only where the green texture is to spawn grassy now we don't have grass in the rock surfaces or the soil surfaces but we have grass here and we don't have grass in the beach so that's exactly what we need so here is the preview and let me enable FPS so it's fine we don't have much dense grass and still I think we can reduce the draw distance a bit we don't need the grass to appear all the way further but it blends nicely with the ground which is nice right let's see how it looks in a shadow area it seems so right I think we should disable uh, shadows in the distance because I see some like some noisy effect but that is something we should do separately and another thing is uh, I have made a mistake when I create not a mistake we have an just a small issue in the landscape material so here I have this MF grass and MF sign and we have a problem here because I have duplicated uh, the code of the MF grass and used for MS sand MF sand with the same parameter name so because of that here we have this base color tint and dead grass tint for the MF grass which makes sense and we have the same things for MF sand as well therefore if I change this color to something like this you see now that color appears on the sand area as well so to prevent that prevent that effect what we can do is this is not relevant to grass output this is just something I had to fix so to, but anyway I need to fix it somewhere so I'll do it here so I'll rename this this is MF grass base uh, I'll name this one grass base color tint and the grass tint and this one grass far distance color and also another option would be we can promote these into parameters and set those parameters in the main landscape layer material as well but for now I don't need to do that because I'm not going to customize them I don't have a requirement to customize the colors at this level so for the sand I name this sand base color tint sand variation let's add some variation sand far distance color okay now here if I go to grass and do some change to the tint it only changes the grass area without affecting the sand area but this is too saturated but anyway I want it to look a bit greener so that's why I decided to do that when it's more green it blends better 
with the grass color right and the dead grass color also let's make it a bit more green yeah now the grass contrasts better compared to the rest of the landscape and the grass mesh is also looks good and if we want the sand to be more brighter we can How can we make this a bit more brighter? Hmm, that's not good. But it, the color mostly comes from the texture itself. So, yeah, anyway, we can modify the texture. This is good enough for now. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna stop this episode right here. Here is the final demonstration. Add the grass here, sorry, beach here with wet sand and the dry sand. I think it will take forever to walk on the character. And the grass layer with grass meshes no grass on rocks and that's it and one more thing before I go we can change the grass density if you want like this so you get more grass on the ground but I am happy with 200 so yeah and also there are a bunch of other parameters too for you to play with so uh, research on those things okay so thanks for watching as always player cards will be available for the download in the Patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the Patreon club See you in another episode. Goodbye.